Tonight in Tech Talk, we are inching closer and closer to the rare partial solar eclipse that's happening Monday afternoon. And watch parties are scheduled all across the DMV, including at Bowie State University. Anchor Annalisa Gale sat down with one professor that will guide high school and college students through that experience. This is a very exciting time. Physics professor DeWitt Hailu is looking forward to hosting roughly 3,000 people at the Bulldog football stadium at Bowie State University on Monday, April 8th. They'll start meeting at 2 p.m. about an hour before the partial solar eclipse is expected in Maryland. So we'll have around 87, 88 percent obstruction around 3.20 p.m. Hi, Lou has been explaining to his seven-year-old son how the partial solar eclipse will work as they both prepare for the rare event that will educate the young and old. Uh, the thing I used uh, for him to show is, so I had a lamp, all right, and then uh, I put two balls. He had a basketball and, you know, a soccer ball on each side. And then what I do is, okay, now pretend the soccer ball is just, you know, the uh, moon. It comes in between the uh, uh, basketball and the uh, uh, lamp, which is a sack. He hopes that the university's watch party will also serve as a magnet for high school students interested in learning more about science, technology, engineering, and math. And we are bringing also NASA engineers. Free glasses will be provided to all who attend. One of the things recommended for eye protection during a partial solar eclipse. Another safety reminder is for drivers. In terms of uh, accidents, I would say we should be cautious, even not drive at the time, because for about four minutes, it's gonna get darker and uh, you know, add that to the weather, it may be a little bit dimmer. Ilu says it will be decades before more than 80% of the sun will be obstructed in Maryland again. His advice is to take the time to experience it. This is going to happen uh, in 2079, if you want to see the same uh, event.